that was probably the biggest struggle was just getting to a scale where we had enough enough volume to you know be financially viable and then in the early days we tried to do everything I mean, we tried everything so we were selling commercial real estate residential real estate personal property we had logistics assets trailers trucks forklifts all the things it took to move assets and and at one point we we, we had multiple facilities that were live auction facilities for for personal property and that wasn't very scalable it was pretty high touch but uh you know as to say we learned a lot with it but the biggest the, probably the biggest number one challenge was just in the beginning sheer scale it has moving enough volume to and that comes down to creating value we we were still at a point where we were selling more cleanup services than we were actual marketing and professional uh, expertise in what we were selling and then as we started to try a bunch of things you kind of can get fairly good at a lot of things so probably our second biggest problem was that we were drowning in opportunity as opposed to getting focused and really being able to do something on a repeatable basis and then when we got our first big downturn after we really had scaled the business was in 2007 and 8 and that's when we quit selling any live auctions we quit selling any in the building personal property and we quit selling uh, real estate, personal property, and live auctions, all three, kind of at the same time. And that, it, it's a whole lot easier to be smart when you, uh, when you have to. So we were in a position where we needed to find immediate growth and profitability, and we knew that selling equipment was, equipment's mobile and valuable, and our buying community was, was really an important differentiator when we went to talk to somebody about selling equipment. So we took all of our resources and pointed them toward selling equipment at no reserve internet auction.